Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Ben Thomas and the team at Ray White Fern Tree Gully, is that speakerphone on? It is? It is? Very good. For those that are here to bid, we'd like to take this opportunity to wish you all the very best of luck with your bidding endeavours to the buyer. We'd like to congratulate you in advance for your absolutely stunning purchase. To Fiona Court, here in the beating heart of Fern Tree Gully buyers, the property is simply spectacular. There's absolutely nothing left to your imagination from the front yard right through to the back. Inside, side wall to side wall, front to rear. Open plan living, buyers of course, bedrooms, you name it. This place is simply going to create for you and your family some priceless memories instantly. From the very moment that you move in, a 10% deposit is all that is due and payable if of course you are the successful purchaser. Furthermore to that, I'd like to point out buyers that I think you'll be able to move in in 60 days time. Is that right, Benny T? Yes, it is. So bid with confidence knowing that come mid-January, mid-January, the beginning of January, Late January. Late January. Thanks, Blaze. I specifically mucked that up so you could interact with me and jump in and correct. Thank you very much, Blaze. No, Late January. Late. Be all yours. You won't need to shop around anymore. Quite court location. Right at the tip of the cul-de-sac. Things could not get much more family friendly than this. The auction should be conducted in accordance with the rules and any additional conditions that were made available for inspection before the commencement of the auction. As the auctioneer, I'll be indicating bidders on request and I have the right to place bids on behalf of the sellers, otherwise known as vendor bids. And if and when I choose to place those bids, we'll make it very clear by simply stating the words vendor bid. The rules prohibit false bids, prohibit major disruptions by bidders attempting to prevent others from bidding and provide fines for such conduct. And last but not least, once the property is deemed sold, we'll take up Absolutely no late bids or offers beyond that particular point. Buyers bid quick or you run the risk of missing out to your competition. I'd also like to point out that the pointy end of the auction, if and when we've surpassed the reserve price and selling, if you're holding the highest bid, you are going to feel at one moment that you are going to purchase, if my gut feel and intuition suggests for any moment whatsoever that any of the underbidders would like to bid further than what they planned when they drove here, I will give them the opportunity to do so. There'll be some giveaway signs like partners consulting each other, calculators pulled out, phone calls being made or bidders saying just give me a moment because I need to re reconsider my options. That one would be blatantly clear, would it Nicholas? Yeah. Buyers, if you're holding the highest bid and that transpires, you will more than likely become quite frustrated with me, but please excuse me in advance. I'm simply doing my job and will offer you the same opportunity in reverse. Victoria, Melbourne to be specific, second most livable city buyers. Population is absolutely skyrocketing faster than the rest of the country. Post election, post, post election we're seeing and identifying a lot more confidence in the marketplace. Prices are rising, buyers, and the conditions have become irresistible for you as a purchaser. You're seeing more and more competition flock to the marketplace. Before the election and in 2018, you were not bidding at auction, thinking you could pick up similar properties for cheaper a week later, and often you were right. In this market, you'll be wrong. You're gonna pay more for properties you don't even like as much, or at least there's a high chance that could transpire post Christmas time if you don't lock this in right here and right now. Without further ado, on behalf of Ben Thomas and the team at Ray White Fern Tree Gully, who would like to get this auction underway with an opening bid and opening offer at absolutely any number that you like. There's a handful of bidders here that we're aware of, so let's just cut to the chase. I'm going to stand here as long as I need to, to receive the opening bid, literally. So let's just cut to it. I'm suggesting you may have some lunch arrangements or dinner arrangements you might need to get to. So let's increase the chance of you arriving on time and put your hands in the air and open up the bidding at a figure that makes you feel excited. I'm going to kick it off at any number. You can dictate the start, any number. Sir, ma'am, you're standing next to Blaze. It's a giveaway. I'm just looking at you. Let's go. How much? 750,000. Fairly bit and offered. The bid is there right next to Blaze at three quarters of a million dollars. Thanks for getting us started. A little on the light side, but much better than much better than everyone else. Matter of fact, 750,000 better at this moment in time. At 750, fairly bit away on the left hand side as we welcome competition in. At 750, the offer now buyers calling for a rise. Bid in the corner, ma'am. Can I tempt you in, sir? We need to know. At 750, buyers, I'm going to tempt you in. I'm going to call it three times. The bid is here, right here and right now, going once, twice. Third and final time, are we all 60, done? Yeah. Sorry? 60. 60. 
760, just in the nick of time. You almost missed out, but we welcome you in. We've got competition now and all the very best. At 760,000, at 70, I call for. At 760, the offer at 770 now 770. to jump in front. At 70, straight back at you now. You're back in front once again, and I welcome you back. At 770,000, directly next to Blaze at 70, the offer. At 80 now to tempt you back in at 770, it is. At 770, at 80, quickly, you just give it the nod. Jump straight back. Surely you're not just going to be 760 and back down. Let's go 780. At 70, the offer is here. On the left-hand side, directly next to Blaze. I'm going to call for a rise. You're next to 780, welcome. I was about to say, you're standing next to Mary Ann and to me, it's obvious you're interested if you're standing next to Mary Ann or she's standing next to you. It doesn't matter. You're at 780. That's $780,000. Now you're in front. Thank you very much and good to see you at 90. At 790, now straight back at you. You're in second place. Mary Ann calling for a rise. How about a 10 at 800? At 790, the bid at 8 might call. Four, let's step up to the plate at 80. At 800,000, correction now. What do we say? 90, the offer. At 790, the bid is here on the left hand side, calling for $800,000 only. And I stress those words. Here's your chance. It's. Sorry? 805. At 805,000 with a 15,000 rise on top at 805. At 805 now, how about 15 and 15 and 15? At 15 we'll take now 805 the offer. At 15 to step up to the plate once again at 15 back in front. At 815 the bit at 25. I missed you. I haven't seen you for a few moments. At 815 at 25 now. At eight, sorry? You're okay? I was scratching my What were you thinking? <laughs> What were you thinking? Oh, seriously. Is that what you were thinking? Just thinking about the windy day. So it made you scratch your head. You're thinking about the other. Are you thinking of bidding further? So you've surpassed the limit? So you bid 760. Was that it? Just the one bid at 760. Are you sure? We're at 815,000 here. Can I tempt you back for 1 million? Or even 825, a little bit more realistic and palatable for you? You sure you're done? Thank you so much for bidding, I appreciate it. I just needed a tough bit of check. We're at 8.15 at the moment, directly next to Blaze, and I'm gonna pass the property in and negotiate exclusively with you if no one else jumps in. We're at 8.15, I'm gonna tempt you back in. 25. 25, welcome. We've got a new face in the race, there's four bidders or five bidders fighting for it now. Thereabouts, at 8.25 it doesn't matter because you're in front, at eight and a quarter the offer. At 8.25 the bid at 35 I call for, at 8.25 it is. At 8.25, fairly bid away the bid's there, sir, can I tempt you in at 35? At 35, yes, is that a bid at 35? At 30 35. At 35, I call for 35, sir. I'm taking. At 825, the bid is here at 35. Once I call for 35, jump back in front. I know you want to. 40, 40 it is. 15,000 rise. Take a look at that. At 840 and 50 to step back up to the plate at 40, the offer. At 840,000 at 50, I call for 40, fairly bit away. At 840 and 50, quickly. Now let's do this at 40 and 50. At 50, you're going to miss out. The bid is here on the left hand side, dealing in tens. Let's not shy away here at this moment in time. At 850 to step up now. At 850. 50, 50, welcome, good to see you. We've got another player in proceedings and all the very best of luck to the two of you with this auction. At 50, you're in front, 50 the offer. At 850, at 60 now. At 60 I call for, I'm gonna take fives at this point at 50. At 55, five, we'll extend the courtesy, we can jump into five now if you like. At 55, the minute 60 I call for. Yes? Are you done? So you're gonna go back to more open inspections? You're gonna waste your weekends? Yeah, you do know the market's rising, don't you? Thanks, mate. You do know the market's rising. Sorry? Thanks, mate. Yeah. Gully, Benny. Thanks, mate. 8.55. <laughs> but the bid's there. I haven't heard that one before, have you? At 8.55. At 8.55. At 60. We're on the market. We're on the market and we are selling. The property's yours if we don't see a better bid. At 8.60, we're going to sell. What? 865. 65, standing next to Nicholas. Of course you'll bid here. At 865 now, welcome in. Better late than never. At 865 now, you're in front at 70. Straight back at you. Is it the two of you at it now? At 870 now to tempt you back at 75. At 70, the bid directly next to Blaze at 75. At 75, at 8 and 3 quarters. I thought we lost you, but you've arisen here. We've been resuscitated at 875, and you are back in front and you're holding the keys. Does it feel good? At 875. At 875, the 80. bid is here. 80. Let's get that feeling back. At 85. 80, the bid at 85. 80, the bid at 85. 80, the bid at 85. Yes? 90. 90. 95. 
900,000, let's step up again. At 895, directly next to Blaze. Ma'am, ma'am, we need to know now. Next to Nicholas now, he'll be able to talk to you through, of course, your options in terms of interest rates and opportunity. At 895, at 900,000, I call for a small increment due north, chipping away in 5,000 rises. Work with me, ma'am, at 900,000, I call for it. 95, the offer. We're going to knock it down. The bid is where, Benny? Correct. At 895, we're going to sell now. What's nine? At 900, sorry? Yeah, just yeah, checking you paying attention. Benny said over here, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Looks like I'll need to, Blaze. At 895,000, the bid is there next to Blaze. At 895. To tempt you back in. We're playing for keeps now. Not a problem. 897. I welcome you back. At 97, the offer. Let's go three. I saw you say 900. I read your lips. Is that right? 900,000. At 900,000 it is. I'll take a one. At 901. Hit, hit. Let's not back away for such a round number. One more. 901. Most buyers set their limit there. At 901 now. At 901, it's these small increments could nip it for you. At 901, the bid is with you. Up against the ledge. Five. At 905, and back against you. 906, I call for. At 905, fairly bit away. Excuse me, ma'am. Are you still in the auction? Are you sure? Yeah, well, I'm sure. Are you sure, ma'am? Yes, yes. You're both sure? Yes. How sure are you? Very sure. Extremely sure? What percentage are you sure? 100%? Ma'am, my gut feel is you might still be interested. Ma'am, let's go 906. Just 1,000. At 906,000. Nicholas? Six. Ma'am? Six. Let's go six at 906. We're at 905. Let's go the one. Let's just go the one, ma'am. Let's just go the one. 906, ma'am. You never know your luck. I've sold many auctions for less than $1,000 bids. Let's go the one. Let's go the one. Let's go the one. We're at not, 907. 907. At 907 and welcome back in front once again. At 907 the offer. In the back corner, are you definitely done? I was looking at you with a New York cap. You done? Are you ma'am, are you bidding together? Are you done? Are you both comfortable individually and collectively that you're done? You sure? At not, do you need another moment to talk? You sure? Eight, eight. At 908 the bid. At 908,000, at nine. At 908 and 9, 10, 10, 908,000 at 9, 908,000 at 9. Let's go 10, at 10, we're at 8 with you, Blaze. At 908, I think you've won it. Have you? Surely not. I'm hearing a conversation transpiring behind me. I'm happy to be proven wrong. I think there's another bit of the way at 9, at 909, at 909 and you're back in front holding the keys, the contract in your name again, but not for long, at 910, but not forgotten, at 910 and 11 attempt you back now, at 10 the offer at 11, at 10 the offer at 11, at 10 the offer at 11, at 10 and 11, through the middle, 15, take a look at that, really amplifying things at the pointy end, just when we thought that you both could be out, you step up to the plate with a large $5,000 bid, that's how you stir the pot and and decrease the chance of them jumping back in. You're creating a conversation. 20, straight back at you. A taste of your own medicine. Let's go another five at nine and a quarter. At 9.20, right next to Blaze. 20. You want this house, don't you? At 9.20, at the moment it's yours. At the moment it's yours. Can you feel yourself living here now? Surely you can. You're holding the highest bid and we're selling to you if no one else jumps in. What a moment for you it could be. At 920,000, surely you've imagined yourself and your family living here for many years to come. At the tip of this cul-de-sac in Fiona Court. How much, Benny? 25. 25. 25 and back on top at nine and a quarter. At nine and a quarter, you're back in front. Mary Ann, any further interest through the middle? At 925. At 925, are you sure? I don't even know who I'm talking to. I'm just looking at everyone around you. At 925, how about 25 and a half? Are you out, ma'am? You're not out. 30. 930. At 931, I'll take if you're more comfortable, even $500. At 930, directly next to Blaze and back at you. Let's go 930,000, ma'am. I'll go the $500. Let's not back down now. Happy to take half a thousand. At $500, ma'am, jump back in front at 930 and a half. At 930 and a half, as the auction escalates, we can feel the crescendo here. At 930 and a half. 30 and a half. Yes? 100 if you like. Let's just go one more. 9.30 and 100. Yes? 
$5,100 above your last bid. Approximately $5.10 per week of interest repayments higher than your last bid. Let's get your weekends back. It's worth it just for that amount. Not to mention this rising, rising marketplace with the potential for you to bid higher on properties you don't even like as much in a few months' time. In one month's time, potentially, at 9.30 and 100. Just 100 more I call for. The bid is here on the left-hand side. If you are thinking of selling, contact Ben Thomas and the team from Ray White Burn Tree Gully because Benny looks forward to doing all in his power to recreate the situation at your auction as well. Isn't that right, Ben? At $930,100 to tempt you back in front. Ma'am, post-election, the market has really moved along quite helpfully. It became irresistible for buyers. Interest rates have dropped to record lows again. Banks have loosened up. Buying conditions have become irresistible. But it appears as though it's not going to get any easier for you in terms of prices, ma'am. Let's not back down now. You don't want to make November the 30th, 2019 an afternoon. You reflect back on and think to yourself, I could have. Would have and should have gone the extra few thousand dollars. At 930,000, the bit is there behind us, ma'am. Yes, 930 and 100. Yes, one last chance. If you bid the 100, I'll either sell to you right now on the spot or they'll bid over the top, but I'll make a deal with you. If you bid the 100, if I don't sell to you, I won't come back and talk here during the auction. I'm just going to suggest that 100 could do it for you. I've sold many properties with bids less than 100. Literally. You sure you're out? Now, please don't get offended as I continue this conversation. I can't tell you how many times a buyer has said they're out but jump back in. I'm not saying it's going to happen with you, but sometimes either A, you say you're out but you know that you're not, or B, you say you're out and you think you're out but you may change your mind. So I just need to be crystal clear. Are you sure that you're done? 930 and 100 I'll take. Even $50 if that's more comfortable and suitable for you. Definitely done. Thank you so much for bidding and all the best in your journey to find the property of your dreams. You almost got there, but it appears as though your competitors have won it directly across the driveway. And a beautiful driveway at that. At 930,000, elongated in nature, quite wide as well, buyers. Bucket loads of space for multiple cars. When you pop open the champagne and you celebrate your purchase on settlement, in circulate January. Are you sure you're done at 930,000 and 100 at 100 at 100 once, twice, third and final time? Thanks to those that bid and to the neighbours in the crowd. We really enjoy, hope you enjoy the remainder of your year and Christmas at 930,000. The bid is here on the left hand side. Ben, with your permission, I'm going to knock it down and sell once, twice, third and final call at $930,000. We're going to sell to you if we do not see a better bidder offer at 930. We saw six bidders contested and it appears as though you've won it if we do not see a better bidder offer one final chance at 50 once twice third time we're selling selling sold it's all yours congratulations